Hey everyone, this is Mr. Isometric and in this video, we are going to talk about transform bone constraint. So typically transform consists of three components, which is location, rotation and scale. Now let's go into the armature, turn on the names so that we know which bone is which. Um, let's turn on the axis so we know which uh, the local axis. Now I'll go into the wireframe mode and then go into the pose mode so that we can add a constraint. Now over here, as you can see that copy transform bone constraint is over there. We'll apply that on bone number three. Now I want to copy the transform of bone number two. So let's select the armature. Let's select the bone number two and as you can see it is copying its location now you can either make it follow the head or the tail now right now it is at the tail of bone number two our target bone and now it is at the it is following the head of our target bone now i will set this to local space on both of the axis like both of the transforms now if i select the bone number two i can rotate the bone number two and it is the bone number three is following its rotation let me make the location change so i'll select the parent bone i'll move it and now as you can see the location is not updating uh that is because this bone currently right now is a child of a bone number one so for this constraint to work um we have to set our target to local with parent so that it also takes uh with its parent but if your bone is separate suppose if i like go into the edit mode and then duplicate this bone again uh move it aside and now hit alt p and then clear parent now in the pose mode if i select bone number four as my target bone as you can see if i move it around it is also taking its location rotation and scale okay uh, so i'll just undo it quickly and now let's go into the pose mode again again uh, i can rotate this uh, i can't grab that just yet but i can also scale this as this is with local with parent i can now move the parent and it is also copying the location of that awesome now it is set to local space with the mix you can stack some other constraints and then use this as the uh, mixing mode between the constraint that are above it and the constraint that are below it so do experiment with them and then remove target shear i guess this uh, removes the existing transform uh, of any bone that is there uh, so check this if you don't actually want to have another scale than that so yeah now the influence this is like the on and off button or switch for this uh, constraint so you can keep it animate that so that's how copy transform works now i have explained the target and owner in depth in other videos so do check it out i'll mention that video in the description below uh, also all of these videos will be in a single playlist so do check out that playlist and if you have any doubts do mention your doubts in comment section below so hope this video helped and thank you so much for watching. If you liked or enjoyed this video, hit a like and then to supporting my channel, hit subscribe and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.